Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today's video, as promised, I am going to uh, swatch and provide you a writing sample of one of the newest inks in the Sailor Manual collection. This is called uh, Koke. And I was drawn to this because I like the turquoise um, teal color. And uh, between this and the Yurameko inks, I think this one um, is more legible. Um, it's easy to read and it's also a fun interesting color and I am going to show that to you in a moment Okay, so I picked this up at the DC uh, pen show and I was drawn to it because I did see a sample of it And I really love the turquoise um, Color that also shades to what looks like a bluish purple um, color. It's very interesting You get a 50 ml bottle, which is a lot bigger than the Yurameko inks uh, also from Sailor This one is 50 ml and I think the Yurameko ink collection that's about 20 ml so you get um, a big amount of, of ink so the ink here is definitely a lot more than the other one okay so I've already cleaned up my pen and inked this up this is my Himalaya FBR um, pen and this is in ultra flex nib and I decided to use this for today because I know that um, this will showcase the ink properties better than the other uh, fountain pen so without further ado let's just get started very happy with this one so happy that I got this for um, a few dollars off because the Sailor Banyo um, inks are definitely cost uh, m meaning costlier or more expensive and I, I'm not really sure how much this retails for maybe around $26 depending on where you get this from but I got it at the pen show for 19 so that's a steal so for today I'm going to use my uh, watercolor brush to dip it in here and which is what I'm doing right now and so hopefully you will enjoy this video because I enjoy this color um, so much so now let us swatch this ink I'm gonna make this a lot bigger so you guys can see it clearly right Alrighty, this is a very nice turquoise purple color reminds me of the ocean okay so immediately um, you can see you know the shading there and I am swatching on uh, Nanami Notebook Tomo River uh, paper. Okay. And I love, love, love this color. It's just so pretty. Reminds me of the deep blue sea. Okay. And um, this is basically a lot easier to read than the haha. -ha. I think it has a lot of similarities with the haha. -ha, um, only that this one um, is darker a little bit darker i would say and you can definitely um see your writing on paper and later on we'll do you know a sample as well so we'll see how this one uh we'll see what this looks like when it's dry okay and so fun so fun to swatch so fun to play around with you can definitely see those nice purple um, shading in there. Okay. Okay. I'm almost done. Fun, fun, fun. I swatch. Okay. Let's do one more. Okay. Okay. I'm going to do another one more in here. All right. Reminds me of the ocean. So pretty. Such a lovely, lovely color. Okay. All right, okay, so this is my swatch. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the, at this a little later um, when it dries, but so far, you can definitely see uh, the teal color there for whatever reason. Again, my camera cannot quite pick up the color, maybe if I tilt the paper, but it's so nice. It has that turquoise teal color that shades into like a bluish purple. It's not anything crazy like the Yurameko inks. The Yurameko ink definitely shades a lot more, you know, than this. All right, so I'm going to provide you a writing sample of this ink as well. So this is my Himalaya from FPR with Ultra Flex Nib. I'm going to write the name here. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see clearly. This is Sailor. Okay. 
from the manual collection. Okay. Okay, and this is that this is called Koki. Okay. Love, love, love this ink. So glad that I got it there because I don't know if it's going to be available um, online, but so far I am very happy with what this looks like on paper. It is so pretty. It's so beautiful. It is also um, very, um, how should I say it? It's readable. Okay. I'm going to do some more lines here. Okay. And I'm going to do two writing sample, one uh, with me flexing this, and then another one that, you know, just a regular um, writing with no flex. Okay. Maybe do a little flex. I'm not flexing this too much, but this, you can really flex this too much, but I'm not doing that right now because I don't want my, I don't want to uh, have too much ink on my paper, but this is such... A pretty color. Okay, let's see. Such a pretty color. Okay. All right. So let's do um, just a normal writing, a quick brown fox. Okay. So if you're writing with um, like a fine nib, um, this is what it's going to look like. So as you can see, it's still very, very um, readable. Okay, so very pretty ink. I am very happy that I got this. And um, if you like this video, you can also um, try to see if you would like it. Maybe get a, an ink sample. That way you won't regret it. You know, when you... Uh, just just to for you to see if you actually like it all right so far i am definitely liking this coke okay from the sailor manual collection so my ink swatch is not dry yet but i could definitely see you know a nice shading there again the base color is more uh turquoise teal and it shades into a nice uh like bluish purple ink it's very pretty okay but if you don't uh uh, if you lay the ink very thinly on paper, um, this is what it's going to look like. It's a beautiful teal color. That alone is is a win. So I really, really love this. Okay, so let's zoom out. So hopefully we can see this better. So that's what it looks like. So for a writing sample, I'm going to show you something that I have already done uh, last night. Okay, so this is a writing sample of the Koke. Okay, really reminds me of the C. Okay, that's what it looks like. This is what it's going to look if you write in uh, print. But just take a look at that nice turquoise teal, you know, color that shades into a very nice bluish uh, purple ink. So pretty. All right. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to um, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed already, uh, don't forget to hit uh, subscribe. And I will see you again next time. Have a good day. Bye.